We learned a couple new things today on head gaskets for the six liter LS. So we are going to put LS9 head gaskets on this two or LS4 or two or whatever the hell it is, 2003 six liter for more compression. But actually it turns out that the LS9 has 0.058 so of an inch on the compression thickness. And it turns out this engine has the same. But the only difference is, is this engine has a dish piston. That one has flat top with four valve release. So I found out today that if you go, you can order a head gasket for this engine that's 0.048 compression thickness, which bumps this engine to right around 10. Welcome to life with Belsif. I'm going to pull the head off today and we're going to see what's going on on these gaskets because we really got to figure out the gaskets because I want to pump the compression up on this engine a little bit and I think I'm going to order a thinner gasket for it because we should have the valve clearance. So watch down here and we're going to yank this head off. So with the LS head we're running a, to get the head off you need a 15, an 8, and a 10. So far. Let's get the valve cover off first because that's what we do. I've had that off before and it's pretty dry in there now, but look at that. Can you see that? I gotta start to find a place for all these parts, Jim. So that, that's off. Can you see that? You gotta look at that. How can I get you closer to look at that? Just look at it. Oh, decent. Freaking right, that's decent. Gotta get all these rockers off too at some point. Actually, we gotta take them off now if we're taking the heads off, don't we? Because... Wow. Point, now I was told that you can't reuse head bolts on one of these. Some guys do, but I was told you're not supposed to. <clears throat> so just have an eye there. I don't know everything. I got new head studs for this thing anyway, so we're good. We are. Careful. Well, we gotta take the steam vent out first. I gotta get a steam vent kit for this too, so that's on the list. Well, this is getting pretty long here, Jim. Bring it right, it is. The nice thing about this, as I'm doing this, you can actually hear the head get loose. Careful. Oh, fuck. Oh, that one got me, Captain. Ooh. Ooh, eh? When you're taking off your heads on your LS, make sure you don't hit yourself in the nutsack. Because that freaking hurts. All right, so that should be off enough where we can use Mr. Jiggity Jaggity here. Ooh, see that lift up? Holy! My question is, why is it lifting up? Valve pressure, spring pressure, that's why. Oh, I'm glad I'm changing them bearings. These rocker arms, look at the play in them. So I'm glad we're uh, gonna be putting some new bedrooms in that. Now make sure when you take those apart, you don't mix them up. The push rods don't matter so much. The other thing to do. So there we go. See the rockers come off in one set and you're just going to remember what side they go on. So that's kind of nice. And I don't know if you guys are, know this, but I just found this out. You don't have to do valve adjustment. Hey, they're all one spot they go and that's it. How easy is that? So we'll set this on the bench for now and we'll finish knocking out this stuff. There we go. So now that head should come off. No problem. Because it already broke loose. Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, hold on. I'm keeping the bolts where they go for now. There we go. So there's one head. And we'll have a gander inside to see what's what. So of course you get the push rods. Boop, hey, boop. And they look nice. So we can take them out. Of course we'll blow them all out, make sure they're free flowing. The pistons look beautiful. Oh my gosh. So they're actually the thinner gaskets on this engine because there's only two gaskets. Some will have seven and that's what makes these lower. So these gaskets won't be going back in of course. And we got to start figuring out a way to do everything here because I'm getting too much shit. What the hell's really going on? They are dish piston, but I'll tell you right now, very small dish. Not a big dish at all. Well, there you go. I can tell you right now, just by looking at that, there's no reason to tear that bottom end apart. Now these, like I said, are a dish piston, but they're very small dish. So we're going to go with a gasket that's no thicker than what we had on it. The ones we got today, this is what I'm talking about. So here's the gasket that was off of it. 
and I can measure it, but I can tell by looking at it, it's two layers thick, right? There's a seal and a seal on both sides. So it's just two put together. These are the LS9 ones up here. And if you look at them, they're not open. We're not gonna open them. But if you look at them, there's like seven or eight layers. So they're quite a bit thicker down this end. Like quite a bit, actually. I can feel it in my fingers. I know that's not measuring it, but if you can feel it in your fingers, you know it's thicker. And we're gonna get the uh, 0.048 head gaskets for it. That way we bump the compression or keep it the same. And we'll do one or the other, but we're not gonna lose compression. We can't lose compression. That just doesn't make sense, so. But anyways, there's one head off. I'm gonna go ahead and take the other head off. I find a spot for the heads to set them, but I'll show you the bolts we're putting in it. So we got these head studs now. You won't be putting a bolt on anymore. These go into the engine like that. Sorry, hold on. They go into the engine like that, and then you just put the heads on, and then you tighten them. ARP stud bolt. Head bolts, okay? That's what they are. So we'll be running ARP head bolts on these. Maybe a little stronger we will, so if we get boost to her, it's not gonna push the head gasket out. But don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification bell bar button because we're gonna be doing a rocker arm upgrade, we're gonna be doing spring upgrade, and we're gonna be doing a cam swap. All to come. As soon as I have enough money to buy that shit. Right. Freaking right. We're starting to collect stuff. We got new head, we got our new valve cover gaskets, our new manifold gaskets, we got new bolts, we got New studs, we've got engine plates, which I told you I'd show you, so I better show you. So I picked up these engine plates right there, so they'll go on the side of the engine. I don't know if you can see it or not, like so. And I can move the engine plate back so I can set her into the safari. So we got that. In all honesty, I only have three big purchases. Intake, turbo, Holly EFI system. So we got three big purchases to do, and hopefully snafu enough money over the friggin' Winner do that so we can get her in. I don't need the intake, I don't need the holly, and I don't need the turbo to put it in the van. So we can still put her in the van. But anyways, hopefully you like this little video. This is the video of taking off one head. Like I said, I take off the other one for you, but I want to get somewhere to put this stuff so we don't get it mixed up and stuff like that. So hopefully you enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and like. Leave me any comments down below because I appreciate the comments below, of course. And like I said, hit that bell to notify you when I get more videos coming out of the LS swap with the GMC Safari van or Astro. Love y'all, and until next time, you know what to do for now.